What's up, y'all? It's uh, I want a man. 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 It's so much of this mess going on. I ain't even got the right story. And baby, <laughs> the, the, the man that buried his wife, she got away. She escaped. But this woman got killed. It's so much mess going on. I ain't got the right story. I want a man. Come on, I want a man. I want a man. Come br bring it. Bring it on. Bring it. I want a man. This ain't even the right story. But it's so much of it. Let I, I'm going to cover this. On TikTok, they're talking about a man who buried his wife that plotted a shallow grave. And she got away. This woman didn't get away. It's so much of this kung. Everybody wants kung fu fighting. It's so much going on. I ain't even got the right story. But we'll go with this story too. Because maybe this story needs to be heard as well. Man who kidnapped, kidnapped wife buried her alive gets sentenced in Arizona. This woman died, but the story I was looking for was the woman, she survived, she escaped. It's so much, I want a man. Come on, get you a man. Uh, baby, come get you a man, baby. They, they, baby, come get you a man. Ba they out here, come get you a man. Man who kidnapped, kidnapped wife, buried her alive, gets Life sentence in Arizona. This is USA Today. Nearly six years after he gagged, bound, and buried his wife alive in a shallow grave ten miles. See, the other man buried his... He dig twelve. Don't let me get off track. Nearly six years after he gagged, bound, and buried his wife alive in a shallow grave 10 miles from Arizona home, a man has been sentenced to life in prison without possibility of parole, prosecutors announced. David Pegimino, was he Italiano? I don't know, 62, was convicted. Convicted of killing Sandra Pagni, I know, I, I, I don't know. Is it, is it some Italian going on? Whose body was discovered in a remote area 10 miles northwest of the couple's home near Prescott. The Yappy Vappy P County District Attorney's Office reported. The city of Prescott is about 100 miles northwest of Phoenix. The victim's body was found bound and gagged in packet, packing in hand dug grave. A medical examiner determined she was buried alive, prosecutor said. A friend filed a missing reports when the woman did not show up to the social gathering. Her husband was initially charged with second-degree murder in the death of his wife, who disappeared on May 19, 2017, according to Arizona Republic, part of USA Today Network. An evidence collected after she vanished showed the woman had been harmed by her husband. I want a man. I want somebody to love me. I want somebody to. Do this look like a Sunday ride to you with historical plates? Do this look like a picnic at a park to you with apples and sweet potatoes and yams and and chicken and roast and goose? Do this look like a me crab legs? Do this look like a meal to you? Her body was found several days later, and on May 31st, 2017, a Yad Capri Pie Country Grand in jury indicted Pagnio Mio No 
on charges of first-degree murder, kidnapping, and forgery in her death. Sixteen family members hit. What, what the hell? No. A guilty plea of eve of trial. Pagniano yo yo ya. Something sound Italian. Was slated to go before the jury of his peers earlier this month. But on the eve of trial beginning, he pleaded guilty to the felony he was charged with, court records show. Prosecutors plan to pursue the death penalty of the case because of the horrific circumstances surrounding the abduction and murder of a young mother district attorney. Dennis McGrain released in a statement after sending. Sandra was kidnapped from her home while her children slept nearby. Bound in packaging tape, driven to a, to a remote location, and buried alive, McGrath said. Evidence revealed the mother vigorously struggled while she was in the grave and was likely conscious for at least five minutes after being buried. Arizona Department of Corrections online records show a judge sentenced her husband to life in prison on May 9th. I hope the life sentence brings some closure to the victim's family, McGrade said. You know, a context of divorce. The yappy yap County Sheriff Office began to investigate the case after Pagnio's wife disappeared under suspicion. Circumstancing of conventious divorce. At the time of her death, the couple was separated but still living in the same home with their daughter, then ages 8 and 12. Cell phone analysts show Pagnio, Pagnio was near the grave site in the days before the victim's death as well as the night she vanished. This wasn't even the story I was looking for, but this woman needs some justice. Come on, I want to make 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 I want to be with somebody. I want to show you what I can do for Come on, I want a man. Come on. Oh, baby, come on. Baby, I want a man.